we're in Frimley Park Hospital on the ground floor in the antenatal clinic, which is probably the first time you'll come to the hospital. You would have already been seen by the community midwife, either at home or more likely in the GP surgery, where your full booking in appointment would have taken place. And that includes filling in all the paperwork, giving you lots of information and doing your blood pressure, testing your urine. It's a very friendly unit. We treat people individually. Most of the women we see come here at 12 weeks for their scan. And that first scan will date the pregnancy. It will say whether there's one or two or more babies in there. And it will also give us an idea about how viable that pregnancy is. They come to see us again at 20 weeks, and that's a more detailed scan. And that will look at all the structures. It'll look at the brain and the heart and the spine. Other than that, we wouldn't see any pregnant woman unless there were concerns about the pregnancy. We'll see women more often if they're having a multiple pregnancy. We also have a special diabetic clinic that we run every Monday here. And then they're seen by the day assessment unit. And we, we provide this package of care and that links all the way through until they deliver. We are focusing on normal childbirth. We encourage breathing, relaxation. We go through some massage techniques. They've got the opportunity to, to discover and practice positions for labour. To hospital number Sarah. The first thing they're going to do is probably ring up to us onto the label ward. We will speak to mum and we will ask her for her name and her date of birth. We'll then ask her what's happening to her. Is she contracting? Have her waters gone? Has she had any blood show? And from the information we're going to ascertain, we're going to try and work out whether it's the right time for mum to come into the unit or not. It might be at this time that we'll say to mum, stay at home, have a nice warm bath, have a cup of tea, have something to eat and give us a ring back a little bit later if the contractions start to come a bit more frequently. We're talking about once every three minutes, probably lasting about 45-50 seconds. Mum will then come to the labour ward. She will ring the intercom. Hello, it's Heidi. Midwife on this end will ask you your name, who you are, before allowing you into the unit. From the minute we called in and said that I was in labour, uh, they're really helpful on the phone. When we got here, it was all very calm and you wouldn't have guessed that they were actually quite busy. In about 20 minutes of being here, she was ready to come out there and then. They all spoke to me, reassured me, told me what they were going to do. It's a nervous time when a woman goes into labour. You don't know what to expect. Is it going to be quick? Is it going to be a long labour? How long is it all going to be? Lots of questions buzzing through your mind. So the midwife's there to be reassuring, supportive and caring. When you come in, we'll actually take you into what we call the triage assessment area. We'll start off with doing your temperature, your pulse and your blood pressure. Then we're going to do a feeling of your tummy. We want to know which way your baby's lying. And then we will do an internal examination to find out how dilated you are. Once you've been assessed, what we're going to be thinking about is, do you need to go to the labour ward, where you'll be supported by a midwife for who should be providing one-on-one -on -one care for you through the labour. If you're not in labour, we'll be looking at, is it right for you to go home? If there is anything that is making us think we want to just keep a little eye on you a bit longer, rather than put you into a labour ward, we'd move you to our antenatal ward. This is the antenatal ward where we have 13 beds for high-risk pregnancy. Examples of this are diabetes, bleeding in pregnancy, raised blood pressure. We also bring women here for induction of pregnancy. The most common reason for this is when you're more than two weeks overdue. We actually have got 18 delivery rooms here at Frimley. This is a normal delivery room. Obviously we've got the bed. Over there is the CTG machine, which we would use for monitoring a baby's heart rate and your contractions. There's a CD player available for your choice of music. And over here we've got a cot, and above the cot's a, a heater so we can keep baby nice and warm when he's born. Because we like to keep you mobile, there's a ball. Uh, you can sit on it, lean on it, do whatever you want to, really. And then we've got a resuscitaire. This is for if baby's born, sometimes they need a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of rubbing down and drying. We also have two alternative birthing rooms which have bean bags, floor mats and subdued lighting in. 
Water birth is an option that we offer here at Frimley Park Hospital where they can play their CDs or tapes if they wish. We've got the hoist, we can get the woman out and transfer her into a traditional labour room if that's appropriate or if she needs to go to theatre for other interventions then we're very close. I really found it calming um, being within the pool and also from the movement perspective because you're so much more fluid you're much more able to move around and change position. The care and the standard of the, the people that work here is just so high, it's phenomenal. The whole of the maternity unit and theatres and special care are all interlinked together. Directly from the labour ward we can go straight through to the theatre and special care is exactly the same. This is the special care baby unit. We are a 13 bedded unit and we look after babies receiving special care treatment and intensive care treatment. And we are here to support the parents. That is our main aim. We're very much family centered care. It's frightening really when the little babies, something might be wrong. Um, but I've come here and they've been really encouraging about everything from changing nappies to um, bringing my express breast milk. They make you feel so welcome and they try and include you in everything. This little Scott, he's been sitting on the special care baby unit and now we've come over to transitional care here. Kangaroo care is all about getting skin to skin with your, your child. Um, it helps with me producing breast milk for the baby and also helps regulate his temperature. So it's really promoted here. Everyone I've spoken to is always, Frimley's the best, don't you? go anywhere else. It's won awards for the maternity unit and the standard of care here. The staff were very sensitive and caring and supportive and encouraging which is what you want when you're going through something like that. Brilliant. We've had the midwives take very good care of us. That's because we've got a great team here of midwives, doctors and maternity care assistants and housekeepers. Everybody here works as a team together. They're all very proud of what they deliver and how they deliver that care to people. And I think that comes through in the warmth that women feel when they come into the unit. Hello, this is the postnatal ward where you may come after you've had your baby. We have four six bedded bays and seven side rooms. The side rooms are available for medical reasons, moms who have had multiple pregnancies or may be available for a fee. Now let's have a look at a bay. This is the nursery where you may bath your baby or see a baby bath demonstration and also help yourself to baby linen. This is the infant feeding room where you can come and breastfeed your baby. In here you'll be supported by midwives and care assistants and we'll meet other mothers who are also feeding. It is very often used at night. The midwives and care assistants are there all the time for you to support, to help and to guide. Can you to visit somebody? Yes. Anybody coming through the maternity unit only comes through if we've let them. Every one of our cots has a security alarm system fixed to it. In 72 hours of the baby being born, all babies have to have an examination of the newborn to ensure they are medically fit. When you go home with your baby, you're transferred to the care of your community midwife and they'll come to visit you at home to ensure that you're well and that your baby's well. In your nightmarish hours of labour, they do a fantastic job. They're absolute angels. They care and that they really do want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. Thank you, Penny and Mary. I won't forget their names in a hurry. Thank you very much. Coming into Frimley, there are peak times when it's difficult to get into the car park. So you do need to think about allowing yourself time to park before coming up to maternity. You need to have a trial run before you come in, making sure that the car seat fits properly. If you decided to bottle feed your baby, please remember to bring in your bottles, teats and dummies. The entrance into the hospital at night time, and that's from nine o'clock on, is always through the A&E department. 
when you come into here, it is very warm. So the first thing to say, and particularly for dads, is come in layered. When people come in and bring their own food in, we ask you that you label it with your name. Mobiles can be used within the unit, but we would ask that they are not used anywhere where there is clinical equipment in use. We would rather you didn't bring your mobile phone chargers, your own iPods, unless they are all battery operated. We ask that flowers aren't brought into the maternity unit. We don't encourage sitting on the bed, and again, this is about infection control. 